Bacillus Cochrane, a baby. Well, that's messed up. Huzzah! Howdy there, partner. Welcome back to the month of the fool. Today on the menu here is West of Lothen. I've heard it has really funny play on words. Oh, that's great. Nice. Let's just shoot everything, why don't we? Take that, beans. You too, tumbleweed. People were getting rid of that. People were getting sick of that cliche anyway. Oh. I can't break those. Awesome. Anyway, let's begin. Wanted for protagonizing Ruth Watson. Reward 701 me. What the? Huh? A oh, grizzly. Kalista Littlefield. Chester Hickok. Grizzly Hollock. Mildred Oakley. Bertie McCree. Catherine Wayne. Catherine Wayne sounds good. First, change your character. Nice. Oh, look at that. I see. Not really sure what the point of this is, but let's just go ahead and start. We're ready to get going, are you? Yeah. Let's get this cow rustling underway, y'all. Cow puncher, bean slinger, snake oil, or bean slinger, mad magician. Let's go with cow puncher. In the strange dream, I was choosing a starting class. Wait a minute, snake oiler. That one has a gun. So, it's like an alchemist or something. Used it to make gunpowder? There, no, oh, no wait, that's like a flamethrower. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from these oils. You've heard snake oilers doing really well out west since the cows come home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. On second thought, magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined and loathing, and the bean slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to the most of the cooks haven't been brutally killed by the cows. Let's see. Cow punchers solve the problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable fella or in a disre disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since cows come home, which stands to reason the cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. You know what? I think I'm going to go with snake oiler. That sounds cooler. Your room. You read the spine of one of your books, The Occurrence of the Spooky Basement. At the Spooky Basement. I love that one. The Secret of, at the spooky, of the Spooky Graveyard. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Clementine Drew and the Secret of Glizzly, Grizzly Graveyard. I loved that one. Joe Dag, Joe Danger and the Secret of the Eerie Graveyard. Edith Drew and the Terrible Gulch. The Miracle at Witch Barn. Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item walking stupid. Okay. Sure, why not? Goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Goodbye. Oh, look, it's a bird. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Ka! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Ka! 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 Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your head. Goodbye, Russell. Be good now. Good boy. What a mess. Stack firewood. There we go. Okay. That's lovely. Nothing on the hat rack today. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. You're gonna miss Mom's cooking. It's Mom's pie safe. It keeps all our pies safe. You'll miss meals with the family. Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uber die anzal der Pribzalen unter ina gegebenen gross. I think this is about math, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, I don't speak German. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Solutio problematis ad geometrium citis 
Pertinentis. How many different languages do you need to know about numbers? You pick up one of your weird brother's weird books. Uba die das Stelbaket einer Function doc in trigonometric right. How many different languages do you need to learn about numbers? It's your kid brother's toy box. He loves stuff like this. You got an item, puzzle cube. It's covered with all those weird diagrams and charts. That's nice. So tidy. Let's just leave. What could possibly go wrong? Your mom smiles warmly as you approached. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's the book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks? Oh, boy. The one about desert survival? Oh, boy. The one about bartering? Oh, boy. Let's go with desert survival. That's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item, desert eating and drinking. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Let's go with inventory. Let's see. Gives you the foraging skill. You read the book and learn all sorts of tricks for squeezing extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. You got a skill, foraging. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeeze the book into book juice, which turns out isn't a real thing. Aw. This book tells you the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking is an option. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. You got the, a perk, stupid walking. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while trying to pick, while you're trying to pick it back up. Oops. It's one of your kid brother's weird puzzles. Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple moves. Neat. You've already solved it. If you mess it up again, it'll be messed up forever. Oh, yeah. I guess that's meant to be used once. No time to screw around the woods. Time to head west. Literally. It's a haystack. Dig through it. You got an item. Needle. Well, of course. It's a haystack, after all. Your father Morse morsely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Thank him. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Thank Goodbye, Dad. That must be the brother. Your brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people. To get off this stupid farm. To seek my fortune. To help people. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Creambo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. He give you a playful punch in the arm. And leave. Go west, young woman? Yes. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Director, Zach Johnson. Cinematographer, Victor Thompson. I can already tell I'm gonna love this game. Film editor, Kevin Simmons. I'm, I've got a soft spot for the Old West. Dialect coach, Riff Connor. Not to mention the stick figure style is actually kind of funny. Stunt coordinator, Wes Cleveland. That's nice. Key grip, Chris Moyer. I see my character's trying to stack stuff. Boom operator, Ryan Ike. 200 miles later. Or SpongeBob would say it. 200 miles later. Dirt water, 300 miles. I guess I better go, better get off here, huh? Well, the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. The town of Boring Springs. That's great. A turnip. Get turnip. You got an item. Dusty turnip. Hey, buddy. I came from uh, with a banjo on my... Uh, Alabama, right? Crap. And I... 
Can I? I say, can I? Can I? Never mind. A sign on the door said, Gone drinking. That must be the guy. BS Horsery. That's lovely. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dag Nabbit? Well, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tank proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab it. You've got an item. Flappy Derby. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, gal. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let, let me know. Well, er, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Pete's nice, kinda. Howdy, I'm Catherine. Howdy, Catherine, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? Well, I'm kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. And I hope you find Henri. Just saying. The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Well, gee, you're a real sack of fun, aren't you? You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Catherine. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Born Springs already got more people in the jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Ask about the railroad. The railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Ask about Dirtwater. Dirtwater? Dirtwater is, uh, interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law. But not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. <laughs> Lots of opportunity there. She paused for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yeah, but if I were a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Talk about errands. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement, some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Spit. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know without even looking into it that it's absolutely disgusting. Look into it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth in there as well. It's disgusting, and the smell, even from the distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hand and knees, peering into a filth and crusted spittoon. I don't... I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Get it. You feel your hand towards the spittoon. Before you even touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinky brass horror. It f smells like vomit, trow, at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's taroon slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations? You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray? Probably shouldn't bother that person. These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck. Biting their lips and concentrating really hard. Good luck, you two. Oh, look, there's Peter again. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, tarnation. Some first luckener goblin punched me in the onions. Uh-huh. Peter takes Pete takes a sweet swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. What the? Why was she doing that? Okay. She just does everything she wants to, I see. I should probably leave him alone. Then again, why? Why not? Just mess around, huh? Weak fungicide. Effective against goblins. Maybe I should try to use that. 
A crate of Nurse Brand Whiskey. Good for what ails you. Grab a bottle. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. You got an item. Nurse Brand Whiskey. That's delightful. A pile of old newspapers. Take one. You got an item. Boring Springs Gazette. April 20, 1895. I guess I better take care of that goblin now and quit. Quit uh, horsing around. The goblin shouts, Briark! Attack the goblin. Now then, spray. Oh, that was easy. Victory! Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Head back upstairs. That was delightful. Oh, wow. Why are you doing that, my lady? You're weird, you know that? <laughs> well then. Yeah, good to see you again, Catherine. You tip your hat to the bartender. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Catherine. I knew you was a stand-up gal the moment you walked in here. She reaches under the bar and grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least I could do by the way of thanks. You gained 200 meat. Tip your hat. It was the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug. That's Susie. She's a ranch from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why's that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. I'm sorry to hear that. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl is gonna be searching the spittoon for her teeth if she don't leave me in peace. Okay, bye-bye then. Just trying to be nice to you. You already have a hat. What would you do with two? Okay, I thought I'd leave it there, but I guess they don't they don't care if I just keep it. Right. This this guy was mentioned. Howdy, stranger, welcome to Bourne Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The sheriff, okay, blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Depends on the work. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around here. They call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they bust them out and took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And they need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item, deputy pistol. Deputy? He deputized the gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. It makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location, the Fricker Gang's hideout. Got it, I'll be back with the door. <laughs> yeah, she, uh... She walks funny. Let's go to the map. The Fricker Gang's hideout. Don't mind me. I'm just T-posing for dominance here. I mean, honestly, it's a smart thing to do. Oh, I see. Those ones are actually awake. You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. They hide behind a barrel and eaves drop in their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you got that his name is Snipe and that the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Leave without alerting them. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Oh, okay. I guess I can't go any further, can I? Approach them and talk. Howdy, boys. Need me in? The one with the eye patch raises his eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thun Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the sure store. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. He reached for his gun. Okay, then a fight it is. I wasn't trying to be... Just trying to have a fight with him. But I guess we can't help ourselves now, can we? This guy looks like he's going to be trouble. He's a sniper. There we go. Take care of him first. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, we should probably shoot at him, perhaps. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not going to do any good. Let's see. Maybe I should punch that barrel. There we go. That all you got? Come on. Come on, you varmint. You know, you're about to die. I'd hate to kill you. But I guess I have to. Victory! Press any key to continue. The leaders of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hand. The Sheriff would be proud of you, but you're not sure how your mother would feel. Yeehaw! Skill up! Glamour level two. Time to recover the Sheriff's door. Indeed. There's a mug on the table. Grab it. 
They won't be needing this anymore. You got an item, recovered mug. Right, did say something about that. Got an item, sheriff's cell door. Why don't we get the feeling all that gunfighting kind of woke them up? Or not, they must be heavy sleepers. Well done. This gang is full of idiots. See you, buddy. Bye bye now. You hear? All right, there's a map. Gotta use that. Ow, dog, nab it. All right, let's go to the sheriff. Hey, I got your door for you. I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for you to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll go round him up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. I don't know the little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. If I had to guess. No, wait. Let's grab this. There's a dirty mug here. Got an item. Recovered mug. I've seen your ugly mug around here before. <laughs> Yeah, I got some mugs for you. I found these mugs. Much obliged. You hand in the recovered mugs and collect your bounty. You earned 50 meat. Thanks. You tip your hat to the bartender. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well, then mission accomplished, I reckon. Take your leave. That's great. Well, I'm gonna leave now. Yuck. Hey, buddy. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid. Howdy. Braid, what are you trading? Well, madam, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a medial. And the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, that, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I'll trade some dynamite for this needle. Thanks. Ow. Eek. Probably should not have done that. Wait, I have a skill. Wait, nasty ring, what does that do? Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Plus one muscle, plus one mysticality, plus one moxie. Well, I guess moxie is just being crazy enough to do that. Let's copy the Boring Springs newspaper from about six weeks ago. Okay, this is a briefcase you keep your favorite snakes in. Medicine level three, venom level three. Needle? Got a needle right now. Nurse brand whiskey. Wait, didn't I trade that in for him already? Oh wait, I pressed two. I'll take some dynamite for this needle. Be careful with this now. My bad. I forgot. The first available trade is one and the second is two. Not on the list. You approach the weird Cactus Man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, Cactus Man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Owls warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is in my board. Yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't have to have it in a newspaper or anything, do you? Give him the newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Well, let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Or Hole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Thank you. Find the outhouse at Aura Hole Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. No mention. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper in my, to my face before you leave, stick the newspaper to him. There you go. Enjoy. Nope, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? Why not? Bad things happen in there. I guess I should probably get a horse or something. Character. That's nice. This must be the stupid walk. Well, maybe the guy went back to his sorcery. Oh, hey. Afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every damn hustling. Tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for the completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help? Oh, gods, yes. Thank you, please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this entry. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Uh, here, let me see your map. There's pretty much running always to the same... They pretty much uh, always run away to the same places. Discovered a new map location or a whole mine. Discovered a new map location, Boring Springs Boneyard. You discovered a new lap map location, Thousand Stakes Gulch. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it to one of these oats. Feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. How does that work? They're special pigeon-infused oats. Okay, we'll do. See you later. 
Okay then, can you sell me a horse? Sure thing, I should warn you though, horses get mighty attached to the riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Right now there's only one horse available. That sounds fine to me. I'm certainly willing to sell you my least interested horse. He costs 1,000 meat. Rats, I don't have that much meat. I'll come back when I get some dough. Oh right, I only got 650. So if I want that, I should probably find two of his horses first. Or whole mine is good because apparently behind the outhouse is something. Look behind the outhouse. This is where Bill said to look. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. You got an item, shovel. Could come in handy. There's still some meat ore in this cart. Dig through it. Score, you gained 50 meat. Awesome. What's this? This mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. A poster behind the wall reads, one, blasting cap storage, two, plungers, both kinds, three tools. Where do you want to send the cargo elevator? Probably level three. Let's see what kind of tools we can get here. It's toolbox, but it's locked. I do have a needle. Just I'm pretty sure. Oh, right, I sold it to get dynamite. My bad. Well, so much for that. This looks dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Ah. Well then. We can fix that. The sign lied, though there's only the one kind. Take one. Detonation plunger. Hook the plunger up to it. Planning against your instincts or self-reservation, you've hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. This makes you nervous. Press the plunger. You press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up a blasted cap. I knew that would be required. I knew it. These crates are all labeled blasted caps. Period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that. Grab one. Dang, it looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry one of the crates open. Well, I guess I gotta go to Black Mesa then. Real shame. It's kind of far away. At least I would imagine. Boring Springs Boneyard. Well, one of the one of the horses apparently around here. Our founder, Zephaniah Boring. He was actually a really interesting guy. I'm sure he was. About as interesting as someone named Boring can be. Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. Yeah, probably. Renegade Skeleton, Captain, 3rd Cavalry. Dig up the grave. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Maybe I should just shoot. That isn't doing me much good, is it? Um. Won't end your turn. Well, I only got one stick of dynamite, though. I probably shouldn't. Giving up is the same as losing. Eh, I've got plenty of bullets, probably. Oh boy. This next shot better count. Okay, good. Victory! Press any key to continue. You put a stop to Captain Skelton's unnatural animation. Yeehaw! Skill up! Dead Eye Level 2. You got an item. Old Cavalry Saber. You got an item. Gold Tooth. Sweet. Uh, can I help you? A Skelton. You're not getting past without a scuffle. A scuffle it is. Well, okay then. Well, at least I got a better melee weapon. Kinda. Okay, I'll do this. Nice, it does a lot of damage to him. Then again, he's not a captain either. Victory! The skeleton collapsed into a pile of loose bones. Yeehaw! Skill up, muscle, level two. Damn right. Oh, there's the horse. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Approach her. You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, then you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> That's a little strange. How you did that without opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you're going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Feed her the oats. You hold out a handful of votes for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Brr. Please don't look at me like that. Pat her on the nose. Try the oats again. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have any handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. You sprinkle the oats with just a bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. And with that, she glides away in the direction of the town. Well, this is this is fun. 
Timothy Cochrane, devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochrane, beloved daughter. Silas Cochrane, a baby. Well, that's messed up. Freaking baby. Okay. Well, at least I got one of them. And unfortunately, I'm also out of time, so I'm gonna have to say, looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. You gained 300 meat. That is gonna, anytime, afternoon, man. What can I do for you? Just browsing, thanks. Oh wait, you said something earlier about an injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to take a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows, just set herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, sir? I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. I see. That's gonna have to be it for now. Ooh, I actually have a thousand meat. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like horses. I'll take the basic model. I'm most certainly willing to say my least interested horse that costs 1,000 meat. What are you telling me about him? He is a horse with four legs and each leg has a weird horse knee that is double hinged like a book cover. Oh, uh, what else? He has all his own teeth and both original eyeballs. He comes with hooves and a tail for no extra charge. Great, I'll take him. Thanks, here's the keys. Ride safe. Apparently a horse has keys. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. I am most creative. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Yes, work. Oh, and I almost completely forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Nice. Y'all have a good one now, you hear? If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.